Hey there, welcome back to Osteology classes and today we will learn about Norma Basalis. Observation of the skull from inferior aspect without mandible is Norma Basalis. To learn this Norma Basalis in an easier way, we can divide it into three parts, anterior, middle and posterior. Let's go ahead with the anterior part first. Anterior part of Norma Basalis is formed by alveolar arch which possesses bony sockets for teeth of upper jaw. And in the middle, it is formed by the heart palate. Posterior border of the heart palate separates the anterior part from the middle part of Norma Basalis. Let's see more features about anterior part. So looking on the posterior border here, it is identified by projection which is known as posterior nasal spine. And let's see the bones contributing the formation of heart palate. Anterior two-thirds of the heart palate is formed by palatine process of maxillae. So we know already there are two maxillae right and left and this right and left maxillae projects forming a palatine process which meets with each other at intermaxillary suture forming anterior two-thirds of the heart palate. Posterior one-third of the heart palate is formed by horizontal plates of palatine bone. And both right and left palatine bones, just like palatine process of maxillae, they too meet in the midline at interpalatine suture. And next about the palato-maxillary suture. Palato-maxillary suture is the suture between the anterior two-thirds and posterior one-third. That is between the palatine process of maxillae and posterior horizontal plate of palatine bone, they both join to form palato-maxillary suture. And if you join all these sutures and see, it appears to be like a cruciform. So it is named as cruciform suture altogether. And one more thing is near the posterior border of the heart palate. So just Next to the posterior border of the heart palate, there are faint elevations like curved ridges which are called as palatine crest. And now we shall understand about the openings that is the foramina present in the anterior part of Norma Basalis. So first is the incisive fossa. Incisive fossa is present just behind the incisor teeth. So it is a deep depression present just behind the incisor teeth and this incisive fossa if you see keenly it contains two openings right and left incisive canals. Incisive canal transmits nasopalatine nerve and greater palatine vessels. Now we shall talk about greater palatine foramen and lesser palatine foramen. These foramen are appreciated on the posterolateral aspect of heart palate. Greater palatine foramen, they are present on each side. They are little prominent and little larger than the lesser palatine. And greater palatine vessels and nerve pass through greater palatine foramen. And this foramen is present near palato-maxillary suture. Let's talk about lesser palatine foramen. These are minute tiny foramens. They are around 1 to 3 foramina located on just behind the greater palatine foramen on each side near the pyramidal process of palatine bone. And this lesser palatine foramina transmits lesser palatine vessels and nerves. So it is easy to remember. Greater palatine foramen transmits greater palatine vessels and nerve and lesser palatine foramen transmits lesser palatine vessels and nerves. 
and one more point to know in anterior part is premaxilla premaxilla is a triangular piece of maxilla holding the four incisor teeth in other vertebrates not in humans it is present as a separate bone but in humans it is a part of maxilla so this is all about anterior part of norma basalis